how to create a Netflix account step by step without requiring a credit card. Let's click on the option that says first time on Netflix subscribe. Now you will simply navigate to Netflix and I will clearly provide this link in the description. Additionally, I will share a small trick to make the first month more affordable, specifically for the highest version available. To begin, let's proceed with the registration process. It indicates here to input our email address, so we click on the designated area and type in the email. For this demonstration, I will utilize a random email. Specifically, I'll enter random email com and then we'll click on the start button. Although I am using a placeholder email, it is crucial that you use the official email address you intend to use because it must be verified at a later stage. It indicates here to finalize the configuration of your Netflix account, which is customized specifically for you by supplying a password to begin enjoying Netflix. Now, you are likely viewing this video on a television or a mobile phone, but I strongly suggest that you establish your account through a web page either on a computer or on a mobile phone, but utilizing the browser so you can have what will be necessary later on, because if we proceed from a different device, occasionally it might not be applicable. All right, at this point, we are going to proceed by clicking on the next button and you will observe random email com, which is the email address I am using. It will then prompt you to create a password. We'll input something like random here and subsequently I will click next. Now it indicates excellent. So let's proceed to verify your email address. Keep in mind, this email will be incredibly useful when, for instance, you wish to access Netflix from a different residence and encounter that notification indicating it cannot be utilized in various locations. A verification code will be dispatched to this email address, which is why it is crucial not to employ disposable emails that are erased every 24 hours, as otherwise you will lose access to both your email and Netflix account. Therefore, it is essential to use a legitimate email. At this juncture, you simply need to navigate to this email, verify the address, and once you confirm it, it will display here as verified. However, for the purpose of this video, we will temporarily bypass this step and proceed to where it states select your plan. It mentions no commitments, cancel at any time, all of Netflix at a low cost, and enjoy unlimited access on all your devices. At this point, we proceed by clicking on the next button and by default, the most popular choice is prominently displayed here in red with additional colors because evidently this is the option they intend for us to purchase as it is the highest tier option, yet it is also the most costly option. Let's take a quick glance at the various features so you can determine which one you should select. The initial aspect to consider is the resolution at which we are able to view movies and series which include 720p, 1080p and 4K HDR. Some individuals merely notice the 4K and assume they desire to watch in the utmost quality, but it turns out they might possess very sluggish internet or even lack internet entirely and rely on data from their mobile phone or their screen or phone has a very low resolution and only supports 720p. Therefore, that's where you need to verify if one or the other is genuinely worthwhile, taking into account that prices fluctuate significantly. Here we have them in Colombian pesos, but in dollars it will be a different matter. Also in Argentine pesos, Chilean, Uruguayan, Mexican, each subscription will have a distinct price. Additionally, it is necessary to thoroughly verify the audio and video quality to determine if we will genuinely benefit from and utilize it. The devices remain practically identical across all plans, except that in the premium plan we have the added option of spatial audio. What truly changes, and this is where you need to verify, is that if you intend to use Netflix for your family on multiple devices, the most basic plan will not be suitable for you because it specifies that only a single household device can access Netflix simultaneously and only one device is permitted to download series and movies. In context, Trust the standard plan permits two devices and the premium plan permits four, therefore you would need to make your decision based on that. Now, if you desire the premium version and you're just about to subscribe, I highly recommend that you refrain from selecting it immediately. What you can do is employ a simple trick that some individuals overlook and it's quite straightforward. You simply opt for the basic version, not the popular version, which you can observe we've ceased highlighting and it turned off red and here it indicates basic and we proceed by clicking next. When you click next, it will promptly offer you an upgrade and generally you'll notice either the standard or premium version being offered. It depends on how many times you attempt this. If it doesn't succeed, you alter the email address and re-enter the registration to check if the premium option is activated for you so the first month is as inexpensive as possible and you can obtain a higher membership. I attempted creating this video previously and to be honest, I ended up with the premium plan rather than the standard one. That's the reason I'm suggesting that you make several attempts until you receive the upgrade offer for the premium plan at the cost of the basic plan. In this manner, we secure an advantage as we obtain a discount to experience a higher tier plan during the initial month. This benefit is exclusively for the first month as following that period will be required to pay the complete price but initially it will be at a lower rate. There are also certain links where occasionally you receive 3 months complimentary or 1 month complimentary. If I succeed in locating it, I'll include it in the video description so you can visit here, register and obtain the initial few months entirely free of charge. Then, well, you can choose if you want to try standard or stick with basic. In this case, I'll choose to try standard and this is where you'll see the payment option. As I mentioned, if you have a credit or debit card, it's easy because you just need to click. 
For those in Colombia, we have this cash option where you can pay directly in cash. So what you can do is directly select Effecti, you'll get a receipt, go to a cash location, make the payment, and it's that simple. However, perhaps you are residing in a different country. For instance, in Mexico, there is OxXO, and at OxXO, you can also make payments in cash. Nevertheless, what is universally accessible is the Netflix gift code, which are essentially gift cards. These are also available at OXOs, for example, at Dollar City, if there is one in your country, and at various other stores that sell these codes or pins, allowing you to pay in cash directly. Therefore, I suggest that you visit one of those stores, select the option labeled Netflix gift code and purchase a gift card equivalent to this amount of money. Typically, there won't be a specific card for each subscription. For instance, in my situation, even though it indicates 16,900 here, the least expensive card I might find could be 20,000 pesos, so I would have 3,100 pesos remaining. What I could do with that remaining balance that I can't spend is retain it as credit in my Netflix account. Since I will continue paying with the card, what I will do is that monthly I will go and this will accumulate. I will keep adding gift cards and this will accumulate gradually until that remaining balance practically adds up to a new subscription from scratch. Alternatively, what I can do is purchase a higher value gift card with a higher limit and simply leave that balance pending in Netflix so that every time the month concludes it will automatically debit from the pending balance and make the purchase effective and I won't have to worry about whether I need to buy a card because Netflix is expiring this month the date has arrived with a higher value gift card we can forget about this issue uh, certainly, I also highly recommend uh, this particular option because if you acquire a gift card of a lesser value and you happen to forget to terminate the subscription since you no longer utilize Netflix and do not wish to continue using it, then what will occur is that when they attempt to make another charge, given that you don't have additional balance available in your account, it won't be affected and it will be automatically cancelled. In contrast, if you use your debit or credit card, what will happen is that they will have the ability to access your savings account or credit card and withdraw the balance from there if you didn't manage to cancel it in time. Once you enter your PIN, your code here, you simply click redeem gift code and it will be redeemed, enabling you to access your Netflix account with the details you previously entered. If you opt for the premium version, you have the capability to access it on up to four separate devices. You can initiate it on your smartphone, a personal computer, a television and enjoy Netflix across various devices.